long overdue it's my review of the best of 2021 or is it my review or is it oh. <laughs> just put her back out <laughs> Oh, let me edge over. <laughs> it's our review of the best of 2021. Yay. Look who's here. Guess who's back. <laughs> <laughs> back again. <laughs> so this is the Beauty Hags review of the best of 2021. We realised we sort of did it falteringly just before Christmas. Yeah. But COVID free, we thought we'd do it even better now. So here we are. This is our best of 2021. The best products we saw that, we la that were launched that we just think deserve a bit of recognition you go first and like bear in mind <laughs> mine that might have launched the year before <laughs> i can't really tell because everything's blended into what every year just seems like the same when i briefed joe on this one she went two years have just rolled into one i can't remember i can't and yeah. you know sometimes you think this happened last week and then if i say to my kids oh that happened the other day they'll be like six months ago yeah and i said oh that's getting old, that is, though. So, oh, no. what are you going to start with? Um, okay, I'm going to start with a brand launch. Oh, God, look, mine's a so grubby lucky. brand. A grubby launch. brand this launch. This is when you know products are really loved and we're not making it up. The launch of Zara Makeup. Oh, which I, I think was last year. Yeah, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. right, yeah. Because we're 2022 now. Yeah, sorry. Look, you can tell. Look, so, basically, okay, cool. my favourite thing. So, Diane Kendall, the makeup artist, created this, who's who I promise you I will get her on a live if she ever does live. Has she ever done a brand before? Uh, yes, she worked on, I believe she worked on the original Calvin Klein and I think she also worked with Amani. That Calvin the original Klein Calvin Klein, yeah. the Lucite launch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was quite a long Chef's time ago, Chef's Kisses, amazing. This actually has a, a feel of that about it. Oh, uh, yes. Well, that'd be why then. Completely. <laughs> I've still got some of the Lucite launch upstairs. I just can't bear to use them. They're the most beautiful makeup ever launched. Secondary to this, go on. Oh, and this looks, look, look at this. Oh, it's just got real sort of, and the, it's not expensive. Everything's high street price. It's in Zara, but it's not in all Zara stores. It was actually quite hard to find. It's really hard to find. I filmed in the Oxford Street store and I did a dedicated come shopping with me just about Zara Beauty because it's so beautiful. And can I just say, I'm going to finish on Zara at the end as well. But this, mm. they, what they've done is they've managed to collaborate with the best beauty creators in the industry and Diane Kendall is amazing. Oh my god, are they really? But love you love the bronzer, don't you? So I love there's a couple of things. So first of all, there's quite a lot of it. A lot. Yeah. There's a big range. And there's nail varnishes, there's liners, there's lips, there's glosses as well as lipsticks. And there's eyeshadows and all those kind of things. I think they're probably all good. But what have you tested? The thing that I bought, yes. I bought all of the bronzers. Or I bought four bronzers. You can see that one I've used almost to death. It now, does. the only criticism I've heard of the bronzers is that they overload the brush. They're not that heavily compacted in. No, some but and you know, some, the darker ones. Joe likes to go hard or go home. Well, also, I just think, do you know what they don't have? Sorry, I know you've got a bad bag. I oh, know. <laughs> well, can I just say, I've been sitting with this girl all day gossiping. I can't read what her thing says. And then the minute I see it in that camera, I realise it says Radiohead. Well, we also... Front in real life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come over here, come closer. Go on. Oh, well, not, not, not too hard. Sorry, sorry. Don't touch me, don't touch me. So, the ring that I like about it is it actually makes you look like you've been in the sun. They they are brilliant, cool undertones, yes. not too orangey bronzers. Also, can you just tell everybody how you put your back out today? Oh, I did a. Um, I wish it's not, even, it's not very glamorous. It's I was not picking glamorous, up. It's funny. I was picking up my enormous baby. <laughs> At a, uh, bearing in mind AJ is now only five months old, but she took him to a, what did you call uh, Oh, it? it's called like, um, it's a baby music class. But all the babies were about, uh, he was one of the oldest. But definitely but the biggest. was 100% the biggest. <laughs> Bigger, like he was He's so wearing big. nine month clothes. Do you know what, he's so big that. Um, she put her back out. Yeah, I'd put my back out, but also I sort of lied. <laughs> did you say it was a year and a half? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you know. He's nearly seven months. Oh, and his dad's a rugby player. <laughs> I just couldn't think of anything else to say. I was like, I felt so bad. Because some of these babies... Because so he's not tiny. overweight. He's just... Oh, it's huge. He's just a unit. Oh. Like proper big hands and feet. And, and like, he's yeah, he's got like paws. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's like, like a bear. Human yeah. Bear. And he started to make this funny noise. Like, ah, ah. And I was like, oh, yeah, his dad's a rugby player. And um, yeah, uh, he's nearly seven months. <laughs> I was like... The little girl next to him was like this little tiny little delicate like thing. delicate thing. He was older than him. So when he looked like he could have eaten her. 
<laughs> when Jo told me that he put his, she put her back out, she said it was a combination of the fact that not only was he the biggest baby in the tiny baby classes, you know, first baby lesson, interactive, whatever it is, sound and music <laughs> thing, but also that you were the oldest mum. <laughs> yeah, I was. I didn't look it though. I, <laughs> I bet you did. You're gorgeous. Oh right, no, so I felt it. Zara Bronzer, absolutely your Oh, and this is a lipstick. Yours. And I'm going to say, you love that. Yeah. I love the stilettos. Have you seen the stilettos? Oh, are these the Zara ones as well? Yeah. yeah. Look, See, I wouldn't reason, ever buy that. No, and the reason I love it is because that's the shape lipstick I like. So you like a high-maintenance lip yeah. and you love a red lip and that's absolutely beautiful and it is the most gorgeous colour. We mentioned yeah, that. But that, to me, is... Oh, that's nice. There you go. But so I've... you've got quite a lot of pigment, but that stiletto shape means it's much easier to apply and be more accurate if you haven't got perfect lips Preferred. like Joe has. See, I just look at that and think that you get half the stuff that you get with that. But it's about but the same this price. This is the weird thing about them is, look, so you can never stand that up, right? Yeah. Because they're all slightly on the skew. Yeah, but they also, don't they have, like, magnets to them as well? Oh, they're, they're beautiful. They're best. If you didn't know it was Zara, you would think it was... I didn't know it Amari. was Zara as well when I first Amari. saw it. Well, this I, I did because I bought it. But when I first saw it, I, did, I think it was some of the stuff that you sent to me. But, yeah, it is... It, I mean, it's very clunky. Look at that, yeah. It's like... um. It could be from Ikea, couldn't it? <laughs> it's all right. Sorry, don't send me anything. I pay for it all myself. <laughs> Same as everything else, so I don't care. Ikea. So that's our shout-out well, to Well, actually, Ikea do makeup, don't they? Do they? Oh, no, they do candles with Byredo. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. Did you not know that? What, so they rip off Byredo? No, no, Ikea have done a partnership with Byredo for candles. Uh, hello, Byredo. Hello, Ikea. Why haven't I been sent them? Oh my god, that's amazing! I had no idea. So that's why our... hasn't the queen been sent them? <laughs> uh, so that um, is shit going down to um, bloody Croydon, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, going I, to. Can I just say I love a bit of Ikea. Oh my god, I love. Joe and I have it. decided we're going to Bista today, but should we also do a day out? Yeah, Ikea yeah. And film our day. But out? the big one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, the and I want to have a hot circuit. Yeah, and I want a hot dog. Okay. All right. There you go. More exciting content coming your way. Vista Village stroke Ikea. I don't right. want to do one of us actually like building the stuff. <laughs> no, no, that would no. be a fucking That would be a really long video. <laughs> a very long and boring video. <gasps> uh, with lots of bleeps in it. So that's our makeup stroke you know what I did the other day? brand of the year. Go on. I bought Ivy this from Primark. You know Primark have got some nice little family, like home yeah. stuff now. I bought Ivy this like um, drinks trolley that she wanted for her room, like little gold one. Mm -hmm. Um, that she could put her little like drink on and her little makeup and her books and stuff, and it looked it was so easy to assemble, and I didn't ask Dan to do it because I did ask Dan to do it, but two days later it was still there waiting for Dan to do it, so I did it myself, and then I just couldn't work out how I'd got it wrong, and it was really annoying me because when I put the wheels on, it was like bent over, so I pulled the whole thing apart again, built it again, same thing. Then got my tape measure out, measured all the legs. One of the legs is one and a half centimetres bigger than the other. Longer than the other. That's what comes You get what you pay for. <laughs> yeah, fuck I... you, Primark, actually. That ruined my day. <laughs> I start the conversation, she finished. It, it did, it ruined my day. Me and Ivy had an argument and everything. Really? Yes. Because she wouldn't let me take it back. Right, why not? Because she Could you dodge it. it again? Yeah, but now you can't wheel it. Oh, okay. It's, it's like a little shit, hostess trolley. How old's Ivy? 10, just 10. 10, yeah. Right, okay. Why have you got a piece of Becca? Is that Becca? Did you do one? Yeah, no, I did my, my oh, appointment yeah. of... Oh, yeah, it is Becca. Well, R.I.P. Becca then. I know, that's why, I mean... R.I.P. Becca. That's the thing we lost in 2021. An absolutely brilliant beauty brand. However, the good news is that... It's been swallowed up into, what, Smashbox? Smashbox. Smashbox are doing the under-eye concealer, the one that Sally is obsessed with, mm. and that had in her cult beauty box of last year. So the best, most cult, best-selling products have been have been swallowed up into Smashbox. Oh, it's so, such a shame. R.I.P. I think they could have sold that. They obviously didn't fancy it. No. Because I think a lot of people would have bought this. But this, I don't think you'd like this, because this is... A bit too shimmery for Yeah, me. for me, it's like a... Let's just see this girl from space. <laughs> Mars, you say? Bit too close. <laughs> Harry What's Potter the and the girl with the golden nose. What's the one that's a... Did you see that I went to the farm the other day and watched Piggy racing? Did you not mm. see it on my Instagram? 
Vaguely. Oh, it's so funny. Really? All of the pigs. Yeah, because the pigs, like, they're only the small pigs, so they love running. And they get loads of food at the end, so they absolutely love it. And it's an, an amazing farm. It's really, it's a beautiful, beautiful farm. They're all very well looked after. And um, it's a working farm. And the, all the pigs have different names. So you've got to bet on which bet. You don't put money, you just sort of yeah. choose. And I chose, um, there was a Harry Trotter, um, but I chose Sponge Hog. Porky pants. <laughs> Did he win? <laughs> yeah. And Ivy chose Porcahontas. <laughs> Where is this so I can tag them? Oh, it's Bockets Farm. Okay. Oh, it's, it's lovely. So somewhere near you. Yeah, it's right. like um, yeah. just past Egham, that yeah. sort of way. Okay. All right. Go on, continue. Um, <laughs> continue. Uh -huh. Right, okay. My skincare launch of the year, I've got two actually, and they're both for sensitive skin and they're both reasonably priced. Sorry, that's a lipstick moving back and forth. I think the Aveeno Calm and Restore, which is, nice. it's been available in the States for ages and it's for sensitive skin, and it's based around colloidal oat. So the whole Aveeno range is based around colloidal oat. And it's really, oh, oh. Colloid colloidal oat is proven to repair the barrier function. And there's a serum, a cleanser, that's and a moisturiser, and they are really nice. Is that calming? they're just beautiful calming soothing if you're going on a retinal journey or a vitamin c journey mm. or your skin is overdone it over the christmas period it's a really nice calming soothing one God, so nice, i really like it? that and can i just say my other shout out this year is to larry and la roche posay extended their derma Lergo, and so they extended it into moisturizers and everybody knows i love the derma the serum one? yeah yeah and these are just, they're just really good basic support your skin through a retinal vitamin C journey product. Oh, so you've them. used, like, my daughter, my eldest daughter, sorry, sorry was used a bit too much BHA. Did and her she? skin's gone a yeah. little bit red and a little, and she really hated the peel. Like, she really got upset about I it. I would actually recommend that you put a serum on top of a freshly yeah. peeled skin. And the only reason I say that is because I was chatting to Chloe on here from Chloe Loves to Shop the other day. And she was saying that she'd come out and she'd overpeeled her skin with exfoliate and her skin had come up in mm. little, little bumps. And I said, that's not actually you over exfoliating your skin. That's you over exfoliating your skin and then putting too rich a cream on. So mm. I actually wouldn't put a cream on, I'd put a serum. Okay. And that's but super either way, light, isn't yeah. it? They're perfect. They're perfect for all skins, all Because ages. actually, when you peel like that and it goes tight and hard, whether it's... You need it, something to soothe it. But what you do, as someone who doesn't know, like I do, is put on something really thick and occlusive because you think that it's going to like And that can soak occlude your skin because Got your it. skin is freshly peeled. And then it makes yeah. it feel worse. Next product. Um, I've got this one on, actually. It's um, Benefit Mascara. It's their real, so their existing franchise, their real, which has been around for ages. But the magnet but it's called one. Magnet. Um, has it got any magnets in it? I don't know, and I don't know why it's different. I just really liked it. Can I just say, <laughs> I have to say, I think Benefit have been really quiet through the whole pandemic, and I'm really... And they've invited me away overnight to find everything they're new that they're doing that's new. You cannot, and I did this live the other day with somebody the other day, you cannot be a Benefit mascara. Okay. Oh, Bad Girl Bang is so is amazing. good. And so I was amazing. saying it's the only mascara I'd use that you could apply, and we both like a stripper lash. And by the way, can we just go really close in on Joe's lashes? How mm. long are they? Mm. She's found a new online link to Bitmatapros, which is the prescription strength lash. Um prostaglandin analogue which she's going to share with me which I'm very upset even though we haven't seen each other for about five months four months but she hasn't shared with me so well, far. I didn't know if it was going to work I, I, I didn't mean, it's a prescription product and your lashes are so long I know it took a while to kick in and it does you're right it does did it make makes my eyes the base of red. your lashes itchy and red for a little yeah while. and I did feel like I did want to sort of like yeah. scratch yeah. them yeah but I think this is lovely and it doesn't I do think you're right. Benefit do do the best mascaras. I can't really imagine what else I'd buy from Benefit. Oh, maybe Hula. Hula. Love Hula. Yeah, and the peach. I quite like the peachy yeah. thing. But the mascara, it's like that. There's something really about good. their mascaras that I think are quite mm. unique. And, and they're really this clever. Is, feels like it's more volumizing than lengthening. And Bad Girl Bang is a bit lengthening. Right. But, um, okay. So I'm going to do another lip shout out and that i think the liquid lip launch of the year was definitely mac so this is the yeah. mac oh. love me liquid lip color see look, just say the word mac i know and you go oh. i know so i promise you we are going to do an event with mac this year without a doubt and i absolutely love this product now i haven't got this on at the moment but this is you think this is going to be really drying and horrible it does to look quite similar to what you're wearing that's because i do like the same color Oh, yeah. It's like you and a million red, <laughs> but it's much more pigment intense, and I just really like it. But it's not drying; it's really lovely. And that one is laissez faire. And what I had on 
which is the upmarket version of that stiletto one, right? Okay, so What's this Armani? is Armani, and that's what I had on before. And they are all new this year. Have you got your glasses? Come on, middle-aged woman reading her. I mean, this, do you know what? I really feel like this is a problem for brands. Like, I know it's not just like, 106. What's the, actually, what's the name of the product? It doesn't though? say anything. It says Lip Power 106. Okay, so it's called Amani Lip Power and they are beautiful. If you've got the money, they're really lovely. If you don't have the money, you can if, do that. Right, if that is a word, right, then I just, no, it can't be. Look how small that is. But do you know what, what I think is so annoying is as someone who buys a lot of lipsticks and really love them, and loves them. They all look the same. And if you have them all in the same pot yeah. or whatever... It's not till you put them on that you realise you've got you the wrong colour on. But this is what, so this also launched this year, which is the REM Beauty, which is Ariana Grande. I'm not usually interested in celebrity stuff, but I love her. I haven't seen any of this. Well, I bought has it. Has it actually launched here yet? Yeah. Are you sure? It didn't just launch in America? No, no, it's here. Really? Yeah. Go uh, on. And, well, it must be because I got it. Um, and I've got the, this is one of the lipsticks, but look, so it's all a bit, because she's a bit spacey, isn't she? Sort of like, it's a bit barbarella yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And look, it's got a little, a little peaky window, yeah. so you can see what colour it is. But it looks cool. And at least I look at that and go, you know oh, that's I, that one. Do you know what I thought it was originally? I thought it was a little, what it really needs is a little magnifying glass on it. So you can turn it over. Oh, I know, yeah. Straight on the <laughs> Or, uh, yeah, some sort of monocle or something. I did make this joke in our live, by the way, if you haven't watched our live. But look, I was saying I finally got sent a lipstick this year yeah. that I could um, read I the could, I could read the label on. Show me though, can you? It's still yeah, pretty bloody small. It's obviously not a lipstick. It's no. A, it's a pipe. It's also empty. Bottle, like, <laughs> it is, yeah. That's the best champagne, that one. I is like it? that one the best. Piper yeah. Heidsick. Yeah. yeah, I don't really like champagne, but I like that. But you'll like this colour, look. Oh, that's, you know, it's quite a cool pink. It's quite nice. So where did you get it from? Cold Beauty. Uh, where did I get it from? Was it Cold Beauty? Oh, no, maybe Charlotte sent it to me. See, I don't think it's been launched here. In which case, I think, can I, I think just say, has. that is a premiere of the Ariana Grande product. Shall I put it on? Charlotte. Hamlet. <gasps> you sure you haven't broken an embargo? What? It's already launched in America. How can there be an embargo? Okay. all right. What? Look, but then you what? say that I broke an embargo with Charlotte Tilbury once without meaning to. When yeah, I put but... Pillow Talk mascara on last I year. Mean, I loved no. it so oh, much. Yeah, but I mean, come on, like I know. it's 2022. I want to, I want to put that on. Hold on. Oh, okay. It's 2022. Like, if you go into the bathroom, yeah, there's a no, there's a um, a microfiber cloth you can uh, use to you take off your makeup. Your fanny with it. Okay. <laughs> no, I have not been washing my fanny with it. <laughs> Just asking. Can only apologise. Rem Beauty UK. Can I just say, Joe wants to give a shout out to something that we think launched in the UK this year, but I'm not sure if it did. And it's actually a version. You know that Joe and I absolutely love the two different CeraVe cleansers. So I like yes, hydrating. Yes, it is. And she likes foaming. Go on. We'll finish this conversation. Yeah, and okay. I'm, I'm not actually sure it's been launched in the UK, but if not, there you go. There's the Ari Ariana Grande, R-E-M. Oh, that's quite a nice colour, I quite like. And nice. everything that's good on your lips, so it's not fair. It doesn't. Right, back to the cleanser you love this year, which I think did launch over here this year. Did it? I okay. think so, and I think it's because it's a brand extension. I so freaking love that. what Joe's loving. I love everything Curel do, but I had never tried this one, and this is the Curel Foaming Facial Wash. And the reason I haven't used it is because, as you can see from that, I'm obsessed with the melting makeup cleansing gel. It's a melt, melting cleansing gel. I love it. Goes on like a gel, turns into a sort of oily, balmy gel, and then rinses clear away. I really love it. And that's a, yeah, a self acting oh, foam. It's so good. It's so light. It goes on almost, it looks like a shaving foam when you put it on your face. But what's interesting is this is the units that cause it, that is yeah, creating of course. the foam. It's actually a liquid in there. Yeah, because the foam, that's componentry there that yeah like, that creates the foam but it's so well, when john frieda launched a foaming hair colorant that had that componentry oh and they created the, con the componentry. <laughs> the lipstick all over it <laughs> everything you touch is i know i grubby makeup, i know yeah. it's disgusting um but i use that every day and the kids use it as well it's just super gentle it gets all your makeup off and it's satisfying to use honestly there is not a duff product in that oh. entire and it doesn't smell range. it hasn't no. got any fragrance on fragrance it's ceramides based it's japan's number one based sensitive skin ceramides yeah. range i think it's really lovely what else have you, got? you could also like shave your armpits with that as well oh you could use it all over yeah because i get quite sore under the armpits sometimes yeah 
if if also if I want to put deodorant on straight away afterwards, yeah. I only use roll ons. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, that's why. I know. <laughs> they, <laughs> tend to be, they tend to be alcohol based and they're really uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, what else did I have? Oh, Jones were Jones. Were now we talked about this on our live as well, mm. and I find this sticky, but it didn't stop me putting it into my Saturday Times feature because it's a Marmite product. You either love it or you don't love Ooh. it, and some people I know absolutely love it. Can I just say what the hell have you done? Where have you been gouging? Oh, uh, because yeah, yeah, I, AJ has his fingers in. No, that. do you know what it is? It's because you have to break the seal of it, and you can't break the seal of it with a brush. So you what? Just so, <laughs> <laughs> <I put my laughs> <teeth in. laughs> no, I just put the end in oh. and go like that because you have. Can you hear that breaking seal? Can if I you don't just, do that, I just say it was well, <laughs> the lack of respect for beauty products. Oh, if you've got to break the shopping. seal, how are you supposed to do it? Look, okay. this is a Jones Road. I can't even say Jones, Jones Road brush. Jones Road brush. But um, and then you go in with it, and then right? you go in with it. I mean, this I don't use this color that often, but it just. Do you know what it reminds me a little bit of? Do you remember Benefit in the day you used to have that little silver tin? No, but go do you on. remember? But it was kind of like the same, but that one didn't have any. Pigment. How would you describe that texture? I think it's quite. It's not sticky. It's um no, it's not. It's not sticky. It's almost. Like um, balmy. It's balm. It's yeah. a balm. It's a balm. But that never dries. I know, that's the only thing. So it stays so, tacky on the skin. Yeah, it does. And actually, that's what keeps it you looking so dewy because it stays in that. I don't know. I quite like it. I, I do like it. It just makes you feel a bit sort of like fresh face. But one of them that I use, because I've got all of them. It always has a tack to it. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah. Because it makes me feel See, like my skin is... It's not that I don't realise that some people will love it. And that's why I put it into the Times feature. But it's just not for me. Oh, I really like it. But one of them... And one that, that I by use the, the way, if you want that colour, is... Tawny. Fauve Tawny. Yeah. But there is another one that's got too much glitter in it. Oh, and okay. then I looked at the, my... No, that one, because that one is mad. Well, uh, mad but dewy. Non-sparkly but dewy. There's a sparkly one. And I must have been kissing the baby. Because he David was covered. David Bowie. He looked like, yeah, he just looked like he started. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else have I got? Uh, I want to know about this. Okay, so my concealer launch of the year, without a doubt, is Tiente Adol Ultra Wear. And it's the all-over concealer from Longcom. And it's for people who just want to, use, like a lot of makeup artists, just want to use concealer and don't actually want to use foundation. Mm. And it's a huge, big, chunky oh, dough nice. for So it's like a foundation and conceal it in one and it's just absolutely what's so good about it gorgeous it's soft focus it never sits in lines it's lightweight it's just it's lovely. lovely really lovely i've just i've given up on concealers because i just can't what hide. did you put under your eyes earlier on just foundation oh it's, uh, synchro skin by um shiseido which is best my oh, best foundation ever i love it really oh, is that your new foundation God, i love it synchro skin radiant it's Radiant Lifting, it's the one that I've got. Yeah, it's so good. I think she And this is super hydrating, super lightweight. It doesn't sit Ooh, in my It lines. really does go in. See, this is what I find problem with lots of uh, concealers. And it's chunky, look. It's big. Go on. Because they just feel a bit like, um. I don't know, like that you're just dragging them onto no, your face. this is super hydrating. And that's why I chose it as one of the, con one Ooh, of look, the concealers for uh, slightly older crepey eyes. Not that Joe has that, but I, I do. do have. So that's my concealer of the year. Well, I've only got that's one nice. left. What are you doing? You've only, actually, you've got that one left and that's it. Oh, that's my hair. This is my... So we have for 2022. Yeah. We've oh, both please got our hair up because please my fringe God. has just broken all back off again. And I don't know why. The rest of it's absolutely fine. The hence the fact that you will only see me like this for the coming months. The fringe is... Uh, I don't know why. I don't, I it's depressing. Don't it's really, I cried. I don't, I don't blame you. This morning, I just, when I was sh washing my hair, I've only been washing it once a week, I actually felt a big clump of hair just running down my leg. I mean, this is, yours is post AJ, right? So you do know It that. is, but Those even don't before know, had a baby. That, right. Even before that, it was bad. Know. You know it was bad. And the fact that I got pregnant meant that it stopped being bad for that chunk of time, and now it's gone back again. And I just think, unless I do something more than... Annabelle Kingsley. 
We're coming after you. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Help us. Got, Annabelle Kingston, you can run, but you can't hide. I know you've had a baby too, but we need oh, help. Oh, has she? Yeah. She had a baby about six months before you. Oh. So, but She'll she be back be at work now. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to finish by giving a shout. Oh, no, I haven't oh, sorry, finished what? it. No, you but this sorry. is the only heat. No, that if was I've... just our begging Annabelle Kingston. Yeah. But if I've... So this is the Babyliss Hydro Fusion. Now, I know you love Dyson. I can't use Dyson because I don't like... The di I don't like you him. Don't like him. No. no, I don't. I don't like the whole taking all of the work to the other uh, like Brexit stuff and the, all of that. I can't. I just, he annoys me, um, and I don't like the price of the products either. I think they're too expensive. They are so anyway, expensive. this is a fabulous hydro. Can I just hate, I say I absolutely hate Dyson vacuum cleaners? So vacuum cleaners. Yeah. Oh, I don't have one of those. Do you know what I have? I have a Mila. I I used to have a Mila. I have one of those little Henry things. Oh, they're good Henry. They're amazing. I bet you got Henry when you had your loft done, didn't you? Yeah. Because all and the builders use Henrys. Honestly, yeah. unless something's nailed down, yeah. Henry's up there. Up there. Honestly, will be, yeah. Our Christmas tree didn't stand a bloody chance <laughs> when that thing was around. Honestly, I had more needles in Henry than there were on the tree. <laughs> but this is the only. So if I so I'm not using any heat on my hair at the moment. But if I have to go somewhere, like I had to go to a, my cousin's wedding. Um, two weeks ago, I will use this hair dryer because it's got the negative and positive iron things. Yeah. In it. I remember when it launched, you loved it even then, and that was a couple of years ago. But the best thing is for me is the diffuser. Yeah, which Does I have used. Does that match that? Yeah. Why isn't it the same colour? Don't know. I mean, okay. I... So tell me about the diffuser. Well, it just that, this diffuser is quite unique as well. I'm sorry. Just see, there you go. I'm used to having. But I haven't used a diffuser since I was a teenager at school. Can you see the diffuser there? Look, it's got each diffuser is not just solid. It's got little holes all the, round, the way around in it. Somebody at Fabulous, tell me what's unique about that diffuser because I think that's really clever. No, for me, diffuser means you've got it, baby, you've yeah. got I'm it. I'm straight back I'm into your um, I'm your fire. That's Banana Rama, I think. The year my hair. <laughs> I know. <leaked. laughs> Before she was born. You're going to have no, to. What um, year were you born? 76. Oh, no, you were about seven. quite a long time. You were about seven. I do have to notice that you have to scroll down much. Do you know when you're on I that ticked, online? What's your I date ticked of birth? a box of something I signed up for the other day. And when I ticked it with my boyfriend, he went, that's the last time you're going to tick that box. <laughs> we haven't heard from David since, have we? He's <laughs> gone, it's MIA. Under the patio. He's MIA. But, I, but the good thing is with a, a diffuser, do you obviously use less heat? Or well, it's all distributed across this bit here. So I let my hair go really as dry as I can before it starts to frizz up. I put on some either Happy Endings by Sam McKnight or I like the Virtue Labs cream, three in one. Oh, the five in one. Five in one, sorry. Amazing, that's what I've got on my hair today. So good. And then I just do that just for a little while. And then that's What sort it. of texture does it give your hair? Because that would make my hair full on curly. Well, I'm quite, I'm quite wavy anyway. Yeah, I don't I scrunch. Right, so I think that's it. I just lift it into yeah. it. I don't, because if you give it the old, which I used to do, yeah. you know, when I was at school, like that with the moves, then you will get a very, like a curl. But if you just sort of... Yeah, a little bit of texture. Yeah, that's all yeah. I want. And then I'll use a bit of dry shampoo on the top as well. Give it a bit of grit. And then cry, because it's all falling out. <laughs> so we're going to try and sort out our hair this year. As you can see, mine is just, mine is just the triangle from here to here that breaks. All this is fine and healthy and... Joseph's Can't you over. just do like a Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> like wrap around. <laughs> you can see why oh, people do that though, can't you? Oh, that's like your picture from the 80s, isn't it? It was acceptable in the 80s. I look like the guy from Flock of Seagulls now. Uh, uh, who's that? What's that? Saying? What is that? All right, thank you. Right, enough of that. That's depressing. Right, okay. And I'm going to finish with another... Oh, God, look, I'm pulling it forward to hide it where it's broken off. I'm going to finish with my final... Can't stop touching it, though. It's no, annoying, I know, it? I know. I'm going to... Look, what have I done? I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to finish with my final shout-out to Zara, who... Uh, the final thing they launched this year... And I know it's limited edition, but you can still get it online some places. And they are selling some of them individually. And this is the City Sense collection. And this is from Zara. You can buy the whole things for £99, but you can buy them individually. It's a collaboration with Jo Malone, who is not a nose, but she is an amazing perfumer. And I just think just as they've collaborated with Diane Kendall on this, they just really went for the best people to collaborate with. And she creates amazing fragrances. And these there is, I reviewed them on my YouTube channel before Christmas. There's not a duff one in there. They are just absolutely oh, gorgeous. My good. favourite, though, is Elegantly Tokyo. And there you go. Oh, no, no, wait, one. I've got one more. Hold on. Oh, hold on, it might take me a minute. She put her back out. I can't oh. believe she turned up today. Look what I got today. <laughs> Woo! Look 
Who's back? There she is. There she is. It's only 20 quid. It's reduced to 20 quid now. So oh. it's such good value for money in the sale. Honestly, I... Super drug. You need to I, actually let me be able to find these because I tried to go in store and find some. I know some and lots I of people are saying they're having trouble finding it in store. It's only in very key stores. Yeah, but I went in into two time. big no, ones. I know. My mum said the same thing as well. Um, that, so, so can I tell you what my favourite is? Buy it online. Buy it online, and it's twenty pounds now. So it's go on. What so this like? is amazing. Is amazing. This, oh, <laughs> what? That's the mini plus hyaluronic cleanser. <laughs> love that. That's oh my god. I'm not getting up again, am I? No, no, that no. I love. This is obviously. This is a spray, like the, the, uh, the spray. It's the vitamin E, no, it's a sort of thicker serum, but it's really lovely. But this is like old school, always works, bloody brilliant. Okay. Never. Oh, you love this, this is in all your boxes. That's their vitamin C one. And that's the one with it's the sorbic acid. Yes, yeah. see? 10% vitamin C plus ferulic acid. Yes, and we need this at the moment because of the melasma from my baba. I haven't tried that before. You'd love it. Really? You'd love it. It's a gel cream moisturiser, it's super okay. lightweight. Look, feel, feel this. Yeah, all right, I'm into that. Oh, that is nice. It is really nice. Feels Lovely. quite cooling as well. What's this? That's oh, the uh, retinol. Retinol. first time I've ever had a pure retinol. Ooh. That'll all be going that on the, the neck and deck. <laughs> That'll go on the neck and deck later on this afternoon. All of that was £30, now it's £20. I didn't know you were going to mention that. Oh, it's also got, underneath, it's got some naturally radiant yeah, microfiber. because I finally bloody got one. I know, Thanks. I'm so sorry. Didn't know it sent, no one has sent, nobody sent me one. Just saying. Simon, Jamie. <laughs> I know, it's like that. Well, I didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, can I just... It's when the teacher becomes the student. Not that the student becomes the teacher. Right, yeah. Can I just say, all right, how great is it to have her oh, back? Oh, God. And we have decided lateral flow testing daily. She's now doing I'm it twice, twice daily. daily. Lateral flow testing allowing. We've just got to get on with this. So we're just going to carry on filming now because I get miserable without her and we're both COVID free at the moment. Also, we are absolutely convinced we had COVID the first yeah. time round. Yeah. And I've lived with someone who's had COVID and did two lateral flows a day and didn't get it. Yeah. And I haven't had my booster yet because I wasn't due. No, because you had, had I didn't well. have my second injection. And to, you know, when there was a time yeah. gap, now I've got to have it. I'm just going to wait for Dan to get 100% better. Yeah. I can't be looking after all three of them on my Todd. Poor Dan got... He got, he had COVID, didn't know he had COVID. He had his booster, so then he really got COVID badly. Then he got... Mucositis. Then he got mucositis. Google it, it's yeah, not good. don't look at the pictures. Then he got pneumonia. I know. Poor bastard. Anyone would think that someone had it in for him, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, Dan and David have not been seen recently. <laughs> and on that note, uh, it's too late to say Happy New Year, so I'm just going to oh, say... Oh yeah, Larry David. <laughs> Larry David. It's too late to say Happy New Year, so I'm just going to say let this year be better than last year. But you know what? Lateral flow tests allowing, we're just going to carry on filming because we have to. Because I need Joe in my life. I need some happiness in my life. I love you. I missed you. Oh, we're back. Aww. We're back. We're bigger. We're badder than ever. We're yeah. definitely bigger. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck my back. Bye.